If you haven't already watched the demonstration on creating custom object output, watch that first because that's how we got here. So what we need to do at this point is figure out how to take our custom object and actually output it from the function. We could do that with the return keyword. The return keyword will write a single object to the pipeline, and that pipeline is the function's output. Once the return keyword does that though, it immediately exits the function. So if I were to just put a little test in here like this, we'll never actually see that output. So let's run that. Here's our output. So it did output that custom object, but we never actually got to see this because return immediately exited. There's nothing wrong with using return, but it's really just kind of there as a, I don't know, a piece of sugar for uh, a developer who's used to other languages that all supply return as a way of getting output out of a function. In PowerShell, you're probably going to do this a lot more frequently. Write output also writes a single object to the pipeline, but it does not exit the function. Now in this particular function, since we're only ever talking to a single computer and we only are ever going to have a single piece of output, the difference between the two is, is kind of meaningless. Using write output though will allow us to build this function into something more, a function that can talk to multiple computers and output this same information for each of them. Now by having this information go to the pipeline, we can not only see the output, like right there, but we can pipe it to other things. For example, let's say I don't want a list, I want to force this to display in a table format. PowerShell is happy to comply. Now obviously because some of this information is long, it gets truncated, so perhaps I can ask PowerShell to wrap the table. Great. The neat thing about returning the information this way, instead of constructing our own text display, is that, well, if tomorrow I'm not after visual output and instead I want to put that information into a CSV file, I can do that. And you know what, the day after that I might really want it in an HTML file. So by outputting an object, I don't need to worry about what my output actually needs to look like or where it needs to go. PowerShell can take care of that for me. Because I've written an object to the pipeline, all of other PowerShell's commandlets can come into play to sort, export, convert, format, group, and so forth.